It's a beautiful night here. This low hustle, these warm lights, this cool breeze, peaceful and pleasant. This is home. My slow little town is catching up pace. It seems to have borrowed a little vibrance from the cities outside. Life in the night we were always curious about, which we always craved for in this sleepy town. And it's peaceful here too. Familiar faces, caring friends, welcoming hearts, we still have them all. Sharing and caring, love and acceptance, we still know how to do it. These are my people. This is home. It's a beautiful day. A perfect weather to laze around with friends. It's fun to learn from each other. With friends like family who really care. Friends who share their knowledge unselfishly. Who never leave you behind. Friends who help you progress. This is my tribe. This is home. It's a good society we live in. Fearless, thoughtful and helpful. The law enforcers and the law keepers, hand in gloves. Everyone is supportive of each other here. Noble men, noble deeds. Nobility is our virtue. We absolutely know the rights and wrongs. must stop and the rights must continue. But as Rumi has quoted, out beyond the ideas of right doing and wrong doing, there is a field. I will meet you there. It's the world full of things to talk about. Well, cheers to that. There's nothing called right or wrong. No good, no bad. It's just the judgment of the people and their perspective. Speaking about perspective, the emotions we feel are also our personal perspectives. Our way of seeing and understanding things results in our feelings and our feelings lead to our choices and the way we deal with them. Choices are like the deeds, neither good nor bad. Choices are followed by the way we act, the way we carry and portray ourselves. How others see us is their perspective. To look up to or to look down on is their choice. Choices they lead us to where we belong, to people and places that accept us. Those familiar faces, they take us home. This is home. And at home, we don't accept peculiar things. 
things which are unusual things beyond our acceptance we are an affluent society or rather say we would like to call ourselves one we stay away from things regarded antisocial which are harmful things which spoil the sanctity of our society this is how we keep our home safe affluency has its own price to pay not everyone is born with a silver spoon in their mouth we work hard for it roses of gold don't grow on bushes you make them in your gold mine and who helps you make them isn't the question here the question is how will you make them You don't sit with your fingers crossed waiting for luck to happen. You plan and create your own luck. Turn the wheel of fortune as many times as you want. But you must make your arrow stop on the fortune. Wake up. Wake up. Let's go. It's time we go to the real hole to get those dreamy alterations off of your mind. There's nothingness here. It's like a void that's left behind after someone is lost. Someone we loved dearly. And there's a desperate search for something in the darkness and hollowness. It's either not knowing what you're searching for or it's not finding the thing you are searching. Whatever it may be, the search makes you go crazy and you end up with questions. you don't have answers to Are you searching for comfort or questioning the discomfort? Is it the past that you're searching for or questioning the future? Are you searching for certainty or are you questioning that which is uncertain? Are you enjoying being back to the real home? Just be patient and give yourself time. Oh, you found it? That what you were searching for? So what exactly were you seeking? It was you, wasn't it? All 
this time it was you that you were seeking. A child lost inside a void of selfishness and abuse. The real home has returned the loving child back to his parents. But the society, they still live chained by the winters of their minds. They still see you as the tree that bears the forbidden fruit in their gardens of Eden and wouldn't want their children to play around it. For they believe their paradise will be shattered. And within that society, there are your true friends too. They still treat you as one among the many Eves and Adams and try to share the forbidden fruit with you. But when you reject the offer, they turn you into the tree and won't hang around, for they believe you will shatter their paradise. But what if these Eves and Adams never grew? What if we were all children? Innocent, accepting, and free from judgments. Always carefree, yet careful, but never careless. Let's unlearn what we have learned as adults and let's become children once again. Children who are accepting of each other despite their differences. Children who care about each other despite their quarrels. Children who cry after seeing the other cry as if they understand their pain. Let's be like children who play all day outside but always return home. Come, let's go home.